Printmaking by its nature is an interdisciplinary medium, so our research interests kind of came together because of my interest in coming up with safer and innovative ways to approach traditional printmaking technology. One of my main interests is in cancer science and after I learned uh, what materials are classically used in printmaking, uh, I was horrified simply because there are so many dangers uh, which we can um, eliminate uh, by creating better materials. But talking to an artist, of course, you have to make better prints and not just safer prints, otherwise this will never be accepted in the artist community. By eliminating solvents, by eliminating a lot of the toxic elements, our hope is that we can put these processes into the hands of everyday people who don't need access to all of this kind of state-of-the-art ventilation and stuff and be able to make the prints. So the gift from Karen Griffith really helped uh, take the project from being on a shoestring budget to having the confidence to know I could take on some bigger things. In 2016, we applied for and received a National Endowment of the Arts Visual Arts Work Grant, the first one uh, for visual arts in Kansas State University's history. We're glad to have people like Karen on this journey with us. We want to change print making on this planet, but you have to be a professional example. And this gift makes it possible to be that professional example and then to impress a lot of other print makers and show them that what we do is really of a better quality than things which have been made, made before. The interdisciplinary research and the idea of it, I think it works when you have people with similar interests and it's been interesting to watch both me and Stefan work together, but watch our students work together and see how similar things are and see how an art student is fascinated by something that a chemist student takes for granted and vice versa. As a scientist, you have to hone your creativity, but in getting in contact with uh, this arts program where you have this extreme density of creativity is very inspiring for my students. We're going somewhere where no one else is going. I think that's where it gets scary, it gets interesting, it gets exciting, and I think that's where kind of the big breakthroughs happen in any field. Yeah, and it's fun. You have only 100 years to live. You can as well have some fun here. <laughs>